Yes, so now I would like to invite uh, Professor Inland Zhang to host the, the closing session of this conference now. All the participants, you know, this is a three days meeting, and still with four of people in this big uh, room, big hall. Actually, there is another Sino-German workshop upstairs, so this is the area for size. So anyway, so uh, before I uh, please, uh, make my thanks acknowledgement to the people, relevant people, I would like to have uh, maybe ten minutes for the. Well, since we have uh, invited uh, some distinguished scientists in this area, so I would like to just give them uh, each one maybe two or three minutes to make uh, general comments or any suggestions, anything you feel about this conference. And uh, uh, then after that, I will invite uh, maybe some of the, 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 the young scientists to, to have a uh, few words. And then we maybe can go those people who are organizing those. Okay, is that okay with this program? Any suggestions? So it's approved. Okay, first, why don't I start from <laughs> you, our keynote speaker? There is another microphone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would like to invite you to give some general comments about this conference or anything you would like to see mention. Uh, well. Uh, my opinion for me, and yes. giving you my personal uh, opinion, I think this is an excellent, uh, for me it was an excellent opportunity to get to know uh, a community that I did not know personally, some of people I knew by name, uh, in particular the many young, young and not only young Chinese uh, friends that are here. So I think this was an excellent opportunity, but I was very lucky, and I said it this morning, because I benefit from the excellent organization and the careful planning of this conference in which the people who were selected, I'm sure they were very carefully, uh, the, the program was very carefully planned and you could see it out of the flow of the, of the conference. So my general opinion is, is, is very good. I, in, in a sense, it's, it's very pleasant to see it, but it's also not surprising given the, the quality of the organizing team. That are, and they're, that are responsible for this. So this is my... Um, <laughs> Would you like to divide some of your collaborators in this room in the future time? Oh, I'm sure there will be... I, I have established contacts and... Uh, already. Already, yes. and there, sure. will be, there will be certainly offsprings out of this... Uh, out of this uh, we appreciate uh, it, yes. So, Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Can we pass just... <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, please. I, guess, um, yeah. I would like to uh, join in with what George was saying, that it was a pleasure to come here. It was a very inspiring meeting, perfectly organized. I enjoyed all the interactions with people from the Western <coughs> countries that I knew more, more or less. Most of them, I guess, I knew already. And I very much enjoyed getting to know um, people that I knew while well, moving publications before. So this was a very good opportunity to talk to all these people uh, and I assume that some collaborations will come out of it. So it's any of the young, young scientists has approached you about the, the, during the, the, this? Yes, group? yes. Okay, yeah, good. That's good. That's, good. Yes. That's our yeah. nice to hear. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Professor Yevasa. Uh, okay, please. Yes, okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. I, I'm very much impressed by especially some of the young uh, Chinese scientists and quality of the works. And I'd like to emphasize that uh, this team is a sort of in the middle of the uh, different sciences, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mathematics, one hand, uh, physics, and engineering, and biology, and maybe economics mm -hmm. and other sciences. Yes. So uh, I think that uh, IASA is uh, one of the centers for different branches. 
uh, think about uh, uh, you know uh, trauma related environmental problems or, or any problems in the uh, face and disciplinary and I, I think it's uh, promoting this uh, uh, you know, themes of evolution cooperation uh, will have uh, uh, probably encouraged uh, uh, interdisciplinary you know uh, connection so I, I like to see a uh, uh, more uh, exchange between uh, YASA and uh, Chinese science and also among different uh, branch of sciences. Yes, thank you so much. I think uh, from uh, uh, Professor Yevasi's uh, speech, you will know uh, we, we needed to have a more cooperation, interdisciplinary study, and then also the young people sitting in this room, you can apply to the uh, YASA's YSS peer program, and then through this way we can strengthen the co our collaboration in this area. And then each MO country, we have a 21 MO country for, for YASA now, Japan, China are all there, and then we, we can give the full support to the young scientists to join this uh, uh, YSAP program. As far as I know, the evolution group always the biggest group ever in those YSAP, right? Yeah, okay, so thank you. So next one, uh, uh, last one, maybe I should invite uh, Professor Osuki. Yes, okay, sorry, here. Well, uh, I'm, I'm very much impressed, first, by the perfect organization, by, your, by you, Chinese members here, and also very much inspired by the quality of the research here presented, presented for these uh, three days, especially by the young, the researchers, by young, uh, brilliant Chinese uh, students and, you know, researchers. I knew some of them by name, but it was my first time to meet them in person, so it was a good experience for me. And uh, what I realized in participating in this conference is that the topic is, is uh, very much interdisciplinary. I first came from the field of biology, but the topic of cooperation not only includes biology, but also anthropology, you know, environmental sciences, sociology, a lot of things. So I think uh, the talk was mainly on mathematics, but some empiricists uh, talked about their research. So probably more and more you know, so social scientists will, will be involved in the future. And the next thing is the uh, internationality of, the, of, this, uh, yes. of this conference. Because, because uh, yeah, you know, um, researchers from many countries now participating in that in, in that conference and I'm really happy to you know make friends with many researchers abroad so thank you very much for your uh, great organization thank you so actually we have uh, people from uh, seven countries and then in China actually we have a uh, more than 10 uh, people, uh, scientists from more than 10 cities come to here from the south and the north and the very far away. But anyway, so this is the general situation. So I would uh, like to uh, turn my micro uh, to, to Wolf Dickman. I think you want to draw some conclusion for this. And then, please. Thank you very much, Yimi Lam. That gives me the opportunity to seamlessly slide into some concluding remarks for this event. Um, I would very much like and feel it's an um, obligation of honor to thank all the many people who have helped us to realize this event and I would like to start with the volunteers who have um, been working in the background uh, throughout these days and uh, I mentioned in particular the um, video taking which uh, after an initial pickup uh, worked very well I understand so a big uh, hand for those Then we have the conference coordinators, uh, Shojie Chen and um, Bo Yu Zhang. Um, unless Bo Yu for well, sitting in the back now, so we would like to thank you very much. You have done a lot of the preparatory work uh, remotely, and that is highly appreciated. So thank you. <laughs> then I would like to thank the conference co-organizers, uh, especially Professor Yi Tao, who has uh, 
also worked in the background in the preparations and uh, Professor Karl Siegmund, who um, together with me was quite instrumental in initiating this event. So pity that Karl cannot join us, but I will report to him and I'm sure he will be very happy to hear about the successful discussions and the good spirits at this event that he helped bring about. So very much thank you. And then most importantly, um, this event is co-organized uh, by two organizations, YASA, I talked about that initially, and the NSFC, the National Natural Science Foundation of China. And um, as you might have seen, NFC is very active in uh, promoting YASA in China and in making liaisons happen that um, maybe otherwise would not. I've seen that now for 12 years and the key role in this has been played by Professor Inlang Zhang, who also went out of her way to remove quite a few obstacles and little difficulties on the road towards being here together. So I think our greatest thank of all belongs to Ying Lang, without whom this event certainly would not have taken place. So many, many thanks for that. Yeah, then I have a second uh, round of statements. Um, just quickly, I want to take up what Yingland said about positions and opportunities at YASA. So some of you might have whetted your appetite about uh, collaborating on some of the research you have heard about. You have done excellent research yourself and bringing those two lines of activities together could be mutually beneficial. So I would like to briefly highlight four opportunities for continued interactions and collaborations. The first was again mentioned by Yin Lang, the Young Scientist Summer Program. I touched on it in the beginning. It happens every year between June and August. People come to Yangsa for three months. It's a unique program. It hosts usually a select crowd of 50 PhD level students, or I should say young scientists, and the personal collaboration with senior scientists is key. So this is not a course, this is not a school, this is not frontal teaching, this is hand-on research and the goal is to produce a paper together and with that orientation it's quite a unique program. The offspring of that, I also mentioned that in my introductory remarks, happens in South Africa this year from November to January, end of January next year. Also a three-month program, a little bit smaller um, but uh, last year we had uh, 33 and we hope to bring it maybe up to 30 or 40 this year. So if it suits you better to take leave from your institution between November and January as opposed to between the June of 2015 and the August of 2015, please don't hesitate to apply. The applications will open in about two months and um, if you have interest in coming to the beautiful country of South Africa, that would be a good opportunity. Both opportunities are usually fully funded, so both the local costs and the travel expenses will be offered as a grant. The third opportunity I would like to mention is related to some cross-cutting or integrative research projects we just have started at YASA, a special initiative by our director, and one of them is called Equitable Governance of Common Goods. And you see immediately the relationship with the topic of our conference. We are seeking a PhD student or a postdoctoral researcher who would like to come and work with us for one year or possibly two years. So if that appeals to you, if you have experience with computer simulations, if you want to get more involved in the emergence of social institutions research, and are willing to work in an interdisciplinary context, then this might be an opportunity for you. So if that were interesting to any one of you, please don't hesitate to come and talk with me. And finally, for the more senior scientists already past their PhD or postdoc phase, we have a visiting program for scholars. So if you see opportunities for collaborative projects, something in the range of topics that was covered by YASA scientists, with which you would like to interact, to liaise with your own research to build on, then also please let any of the other representatives know and we can think about organizing a visit. So these were the second rounds of statements about opportunities at NASA and um, 
many of these, of course, are very well supported directly or indirectly through NSFC. And I should say that NSFC has always been very good in emphasizing the importance of supporting young scientists. I think that is something that I feel very comfortable with. I feel the same. Um, senior scientists usually have ample opportunities for traveling and for meeting, and it's especially important to give independent and not hierarchically limited opportunities to young scientists. Okay, now the third round of statements I would like to make um, is just a little bit of reflection on the trends that I perceive in our field. It's always a personal view, so please don't hesitate to add in your mind your own trends or to talk to me later to tell me that you disagree with any of the ones I picked out. I thought, looking through the program, and of course there are many facets here, and I cannot mention them all in an integrative way, but looking through the program I perceived some three developments which for me mm, seem to grow in attention in our field. The first is a clear sense of departing from the traditional simplifying assumptions of pair-oriented <coughs> game theory, evolution game theory. So we are seeing much more than, let's say, 10 years ago about in-person games, about games that have multiple rounds, or super games as they are sometimes called, in which different agents have different roles, in which there are other kinds of heterogeneity. Um, that, I think, is very encouraging. And the whole research on bounded rationality still deserves to be interfaced much more closely with what we are doing. Sometimes I think the we as game theorists are still living a little bit on our isolated planet, um, rather dodgedly adhering to the idea of utility, maximization and rational choice, when even in economics, which has a high degree of inertia, I can tell you, um, that has now become a wave of uh, understanding that we are not just economic people, we are social people, and that usually means we don't just maximize our utility, certainly not just in the monetary sense. So that's the first trend. I think these departures towards a more realistic understanding of human psychology and human social behavior, that is very encouraging. Heterogeneity in the environment and quantum responses will just be a few other keywords here. The second trend that I find very interesting is to go away from these kinds of sanctionings that had maybe taken a lot more space and is warranted by their relevance for modern societies, and these are peer sanctions. It's very natural, I think, because of the predilection of game theory for pairwise interactions, to think about peer pairwise sanctioning, and that has been harvested to a good degree, very interesting results, but that is not how our societies work, and that is not closely related how we can solve environmental problems, because they are the design of incentives and the design of institutions helping with that. Is key. So I'm very happy that we are now seeing a wave of uh, research about mechanism design, incentive design, institutional design, and also attention to how this can emerge in a natural way historically from a peer-oriented framework that might be goes by a pool or committee um, organization and eventually ends up with firm social institutions that uh, can even then, in many countries with great success, impose taxes and uh, safeguard their own existence, which creates other problems. I mean, we could also at some stage get into those. Um, and the third trend is especially relevant for YASA. This is not anymore just um, theoretical research playing with a few payoff matrices. We see interactions with real-world um, problems, serious interactions. Part of the model becomes the modeling of the ecosystem. We have seen a lake ecosystem stylized, but clearly in the model that introduces interesting effects such as time lags or the comparability of time scales. Mm, we have the climate focus, obviously, as one of the most important aspects of failing cooperation and some of the aspects of Jorgis modeling framework, I think, are also fitting into this idea of moving towards greater realism, inspired by the challenges of climate change. I found that very exciting and encouraging. So taking all this together, I think uh, evolutionary game theory and all the other areas that we have represented here have a great future. We have to come together with other disciplines, even more than we are currently doing, with anthropologists, sociologists, psychologists, in order to 
get an accurate reflection of human nature in the context of environmental challenges. And with that, I return the floor to Ying Lam. Thank you. As I said, we, we, we would like to ask the young Saki to see something, but we, since the time is short, we leave this program when we have a Beijing duck. Okay, so the, you will see something during the, the dinner. So finally, uh, I would like to have the official closing of our NSFC YASA Conference on Evolution of Cooperation. about the arrangement after the, 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 the conference, okay? Because we have a very tense uh, 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 lecture today and then I think before we go to the, the dinner, I think it would be a good idea to take a walk in our uh, 2008 Beijing Olympic game, uh, those, those area. Just take a walk, maybe half hour or something, depends on the time. And then it's very close to our restaurant. And the, the restaurant I would like to use, that's the restaurant for the, it's used for, for the game. So all the athletes are, are, are taking their, their, their meal. So you will see that the design of the, 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 the restaurant is rather Olympic spirit. So I would like you to get the Olympic spirit by walking first and then Beijing Dark later. Anyway, so, <laughs> okay. Uh, for the people who are going the, the excursion tomorrow, so I would suggest you to have your nice shoes, running shoes or climbing shoes, and the, the, war, uh, the, the temperature will be about 3 to 5 degrees lower than here, so bring something with you, jacket or warm clothes, and then we can you know, leave everything if you don't need it on the bus. But anyway, so we will make a big up call at 7 o'clock, is that okay? Then we have to be leave at 8 o'clock sharp because of the, the traffic and the, the long distance. But anyway, so we will be ready, okay? So that's all. I think that we were uh, the, the host of this, uh, the, this last night. Uh, Last dinner, last dinner, last dinner uh, is by Professor Tao Yi. So he will say something at the 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 the, the, the dinner play, uh, dinner time. Okay. So thank you very much, and uh, everybody get packed, and then we we go on the bus. The bus is waiting us outside. So in three minutes, everybody should get on the bus. Okay, and go. Thank you. Thank you so much.